Hi guys, it's uh, Inamke4 again with the Samsung Galaxy S2 running Android Gingerbread 2.3.6. Um, what I'm going to do is just uh, quickly show you in this video how to um, basically reject nuisance calls. Um, basically, um, now what I mean by that is if someone's prank calling you or um, just rings you and puts the phone down and the number gets recorded but they just keep on calling you. Um, if you want to reject a number that's in your phone book say or even someone that just calls you um, this is how to do this basically on an Android phone some older phones um, you couldn't do um, because they didn't have the functionality to just do it and you may have to contact your network provider to do it but on Android phones basically all you do is um, it's the, the call feature is called call rejection so what you do is from applications go to uh, settings and go to call and you can see at the top you've got call rejection there that needs to be on um, by default it's turned off so uh, usually it's on that off mode and you can see it says auto reject mode off uh, what you need to do is tap auto reject mode and then it gives you options there for off all numbers only blacklist obviously off doesn't do anything um, you're not using the call rejection feature all numbers blocks uh, or reject should I say all numbers that dial you um, or try and contact you and only blacklist is basically you specify a list of numbers and if any of those numbers call you nothing happens so we'll, ta we'll turn that on um, if you want to see incidentally what's in your blacklist already underneath you've got the blacklist you just tap it it gives you the numbers that are contained within your blacklist there already you can tick them um, by tapping on them to activate them and so forth okay so now that call rejection is on so now what we need to do is get the phone number that we want to block it could be in your contacts or it could be uh, on a number that's called you so in my case it's the the number that that's been dialed so if I go into my logs um, here we go you can see that that's the number it's a number of a telemarketing company in London uh, it just keeps calling me so all you do is select it by holding it down and you get the menu pop up on the menu if you scroll to the bottom you got second one from the bottom add to blacklist okay so you, you add it and it says added to blacklist there and that's it um, uh, as long as you have enabled the call rejection feature as we just did then add the number that will work and what happens is when that person dials your number they get a, like a, a just a dead tone as if your number doesn't exist um, so for example what I've also done is added uh, added my home number into that blacklist as well and so what I'm going to do is just ring uh, my mobile phone um, from my landline or on speaker just to show you what that happens to the other person when they ring once you've set the call rejection feature and put them in the blacklist See, that's what happens. It's just a dead tone as if the number doesn't even exist, um, which is awesome. So hopefully they might get the idea. Um, I don't want the calls. Um, but you can do that with any number that gets recorded on the phone itself. Uh, and as you can see on the top, if I bring that notifications bar down, you can see that it's got auto-reject mode, uh, and it says blacklist numbers will be rejected. I think that's a brilliant feature if you get prank calls from a particular number or you don't want someone uh, or you don't want to basically speak to someone uh, and you want it permanently well it's not permanent but you can turn it on and off um, just reject the calls so they get a dead tone as if your number doesn't even exist um, that's how you can do it easily on the Android gingerbread 2.3.6 uh, any questions or comments uh, please comment below uh, hit subscribe from the button up top there it doesn't cost you anything it's free and you can uh, check out what I'm up to in the future um, thanks for watching and goodbye